Yo, 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 everybody. Generic B here, and welcome to a hermit's look at Cosmonautica. Now, Cosmonautica was a game uh, that I saw at Gamescom in Germany uh, this year. Um, there was a kind of a small section for indie games at that uh, convention. I was kind of surprised. Um, very, very small compared to like PAX East. Um, but this uh, this game was definitely the one that stood out the most to me. Um, and the guys are super nice, uh, the developers. This is available on Steam Early Access and it is kind of a cross between Faster Than Light and The Sims. So let's go ahead and get started. And it's got some good music, man. Mm. I'm just gonna say delete, because I tried this once back in the day. All right, so uh, we can just say, let's do start the prologue difficulty. Uh, I wanna say easy. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> so, um, oh, look. That's pretty cool. All right, so we're just gonna say start the prologue because this way you can kind of see what's going on. There's a story behind it. Uh, so this is um, this is our little uh, kind of like Hal, but it's nil. <laughs> My captain, it's enough. Stop nose noising and wake up, wake up. <laughs> Finally, thank code is me, nil. Your trusted AI. What happened? We've been ambushed, cause mobs, I suppose. They induce super snooze rays, old fashioned yet apparently still effective. You and the crew were lulled big time. Alas, I couldn't prevent the raiders from boarding our ship. I managed to lock you up in the cockpit, cockpit but the others got taken away. The cause mobs then ransacked our cargo and set fire. Uh, I'm afraid so. What's, the mo what's most peculiar? Uh, peculiar, they left a strange container, obviously on purpose. Uh, was it contained? I don't know. It's sealed. However, my scans trace no explosive or contaminated materials. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, having been exposed to the snooze rays, you will probably encounter severe memory loss. <clears throat> we just arrived at the Harassa station. We're on our own for now, but relax. I am at your side. So, I'm going to turn this music down a little bit on my keyboard. Uh, okay. Well, let's recover your responsibilities. Uh, I know how distractible you can be. The more closely you follow my instructions, the sooner you are back in business. We can switch sections using the upper left buttons. Upper left, got it. You should start by forming a new crew, visit the job office, and hire us a pilot. Oh, and please invest our money sparingly at the beginning. All right, so, um, I apparently my little keyboard thing does not is not changing the graph, uh, resume game. Wait, how is things not working for me anymore? Boop, 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 boop. Resume game. That is the weirdest thing. Okay, so this is our, this is our ship, as you can see, and that's why it looks kind of, uh, it's kind of like The Sims, like you get little, little compartments and whatnot. Um, but we need to go, hey, what'd they say? We need to go look for jobs. So this is the Harassa Station. <clears throat> and the traits of different things. There's a shipyard, high population, financial district, wood production, travel agency. And uh, so this is where you can buy stuff for, uh, for transporting, usually, is what you do. And here's where we can edit the ship. Here's where we can... Uh, find jobs to take at the bar here we go job market all right so we need to find a this is a cook we need to find a pilot right piloting okay so we got that dude he's a pilot you can hire them for 791 coins is that the right thing yep for 16 days okay you're Interesting. Oh, this guy's better at stuff, but he's also really expensive. Ed, you're a cleaning guy. You're a medic. All right, so let's go with the old cheapy guy here. Awesome. Good, the crew can consist of up to eight people. Their status is displayed at the bottom of the screen. 
Uh, at the shipyard, you can buy and sell rooms as well as maintain your ship. Not every planet offers a shipyard though, so keep that in mind. Since most of our interior got destroyed, we need several basic installments, a small cabin, a snack bay, and a toilet, and a cargo hold. Uh, so by the way, you can check your current mission ex uh, objectives, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so if we go back to, where's our ship? How do I get to my ship again? I can't remember. Bloop. No, where my ship is. Open node. Oh, I guess, well, we need to buy a room. So that's, oh, there we go, edit ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how we get to where we need. Um, we need to buy some rooms. Is that up here? There's this, there's that thing. Is this how I do it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, buy in rooms, yep. So it said we need a, what did it say? Task. No, uh, missions. Install a small cabin, snack machine, a toilet, and a cargo room. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, we'll get this uh, little cozy cabin for two. And then you can put it somewhere. Uh, let's put it down, you know. So that's under, cons oh, yep, apply. Uh, a toilet. So the facilities. Oh, there's a cargo hold. A med medical bay. Uber code hack center. All right, let's get this guy and we'll put it here. And we need a, <clears throat> we need some kind of uh, snack. Oh, we need a toilet. The body will fire and forget. <laughs> That's great. All right, we'll get that one. Let's buy it. And we'll put it right by here. And then we need a snack machine, I do believe. Snack box. And we'll put that right here. Excellent. I'm tempted to express my relief. You do well, Captain, despite your amnesia. My what? <laughs> Forget it. I suggest we start optimizing our finances. The bulletin board at the bar offers a range of profitable missions. We'll use a shortcut for now. Uh, I seduce the bulletin board's database to assign us an easy delivery mesh mission. Mission. All right, so here's our mission. Hollow Hut. A local overlord donates a piece of his art collection as a stage prop for a movie. Some smuggler guy frozen in carbonite. Uh, uh, you know, I'm not solo. Uh, the cargo will be transferred directly onto your ship. Deliver it to Holomov Studios in Profi. We get 10,000 credits. Check my node for mission details, then select our destination on the, on the solar map and let the journey begin. Yay! Okay, so uh, applied. We, you can buy some weapon ammunition. <clears throat> oh, you can update your, your ship. Oh, so cool, man. And, oh, then you can paint it colors. Give it the hue. Little hue saturation action. Where's the green? Secondary. I'll give it like super bright. Where's my boy? Oh, I see. Or do I see what's going on? Why is that nothing but red? Oh, we like only have certain options? Eh, whatever. Okay, that's good. So that's how you do that business. Oh, you can even style the uniforms. Get out of town. All right, so we've got our missions. So estimated difficulty, blah, blah, blah. Required cargo space, none. And quest item. All right. So I think we can now go to the map, if I remember right. And this is where you go. Okay, here's, is that us? 
Oh, there, here, there's Harissa. And we need to go to, where was it? Profi. Uh-huh. So that means we travel and it will take six days. Bump, bump. <clears throat> and this is what I love. So this is like the Sims part of it. So as we're traveling, we only have a uh, one pilot here. And they're on shifts. So you can see right now he does pilot, pilot, uh, relax, relax. So you can open up your node and you can actually be like, uh, how do I do this? Eh, yeah, there we go. So you can say leisure time, leisure time, so you can do whatever when he's on a regular old work shift. And then here's the picture of the other side of the ship, the slinky weasel. And here we go. Uh, amazing to watch crew and rooms in action, right? Uh, yeah, nice. <laughs> rooms are essential for our crew's members' needs and tasks. However, rooms get dirty or damaged over time. Although shipyards offer maintenance services, you might prefer having a crew deal with such issues in the long run. By the way, you should should you want to accelerate time, toggle the speed at the top right screen. S screen? Ah, where's the realism? Why, it toggles wormholes. Ha uh ha. -huh. So, as you can see, this is counting down. It was gonna take about six days. So I can do it in the fast forward mode, normal speed, fast forward mode. So it's got a, a bit of some simulation to it. And what I think is really cool is if you look at the map, it's like, here's where we are. We're flying from Harissa and it does this weird thing you can see the trajectory of where it's gonna go based off of where the uh where profi is gonna be so it's like here i come i'm going profi is going slower and we're gonna meet right there i think it's the coolest thing in the whole world and uh so apparently oh you can, yeah oh yeah you can see the dude like his hunger goes up, he grabs a snack, he goes to the bathroom, he goes back. Boy, he's a bathroom and guy. <laughs> and of course, like they said, stuff will get dirty, so we'll need to get either uh, a cleaning job when we get to the planet, or we hire someone who's got cleaning services. This guy is not that guy. Uh-huh. Our delivery was received with overwhelming gratitude. Captain, uh, obviously you've impressed these Holomov's ladies. Jealous, Neil? Me, don't be ridiculous, Captain, let's focus. 10,000 credits have been added to our account. Invest the reward wisely. <laughs> Stop it, let's concentrate on mature topics, okay? You should hire someone with a cleaning skill and a repairing skill at the job office now. It's up to you. Um, if the office does not Offer required skills, you can use the job scout option. The service is at extra cost though. Anyways, would be great to see our little family growing soon. Motherly feelings? I'm feeling responsible is all. Stop mocking me, will you? Will you? It's okay. Time to try out other sources of profit than doing missions. Trading, that is. Activate the solar map and have a closer look at its features. Okay, so if we look at this solar map, which I assume that's what this is. Uh, solar maps display details about identified planets or other ships w within the current system. Uh, traits indicate which kinds of facilities a station has to offer, a shipyard for instance. What about goods? Guess what? Traits also define which goods a planet produces and which goods it consumes. Just use the more info button. You're a smart captain, hence you should be able to figure out profitable deals between different stations. Ha! I'm pretty sure you can do this. Visit the local merchant and give it a try. So, all right, so we'll go back to, here's the merchant. And so he, they got water. What is this? Is this, they're buying it and selling it maybe? Not really sure, I think so. Uh, so good price average cost. Uh, so they sell games, books, waste, paper, art. All right, so now if we go back over here, that's Profi. We can click on this, more info. 
So, oh, okay, so they are, an, I guess that means export and import. So they're an exporter of this and this. They're an importer of water and whatever that is. So they're, they're an importer of that stuff. High population, they're an importer of water. So let's try to, let's buy up some water maybe. Oh, they're an importer of water too. Oh, you pecker. Okay, so let's see if we can find paper art. They're an exporter of waste. Well, who wouldn't be? Let's see if someone takes wood, maybe. So that's you guys, more info. They're an importer of paper. Oh, that might be one. Oh, these guys are an exporter of water. Oh, we could buy water from there. Let's do that. Okay, we're gonna go here. Get out of here, get out of here. Uh, we're gonna travel there. Boom. And we're gonna go fast speed. Yeah, the ship will be kinda dirty for a little bit, but that's okay. We're gonna make some money on the trades. With an expanding crew, you'll have to organize their task. Uh-huh. Yep, yep, yep. I didn't buy a crew. I should've. When new crews are experienced enough, you can promote them via the node. They will gain new skills every two levels. Wages and needs increase too, so promote wisely. A better crew requires special rooms and eventually a bigger ship. So as you go, it just grows and grows. And you can you could do a little zoom in job and see this guy go. Grabbing his snack. Little little turdin. Oh the life of a, of a space pilot. This is so cool, man. Alright, and so we're almost made it to the place. And kabunk. And kabunk. Alright, so we're here. We can buy. They are. Ex oh wait, was that another place exporters of water? Oh wait, did I screw up? More info? No, they're importers of water. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> this is not for me, is it? Okay, I want to buy... I can buy that many? Oh, my cargo can hold six. So I buy six. Is that right? Yeah, not enough cargo room. Uh-huh. So now if I go back to my ship. Oh, while I'm here. Job search? Where's that job search? Here we go. So you're a pilot. Pilot. Medic. This guy is a crazy good pilot and cleaner, but you are very, very expensive. So I'm not going to buy you. But that's cool that you go around doing that stuff. Uh, all right, so now that we have this, we can go back to, no, this Harissa, Profi, travel time six days, or what was that other one? They're an importer of that stuff. We probably can hit them up right now. Oh, that's travel time six days as well. So it doesn't matter. We'll go, we'll go check out, uh, Profit will travel, go into town, let's hit it up. They need a super duper, like, like jump light speed. <laughs> uh, and then as this stuff goes, I can click on this. Ah, yeah, yeah, so you can see like the condition of the engine is at 41% as it's going. So for sure, like if I don't get someone to, uh, to fix that and repair it, I'm gonna be hosed. This one's getting a little, a little lonely. Oh, the condition's really bad on this. Condition's really bad on this. Yeah, yeah. So we'll we'll have to find a person. It's one of these games that I could just sit and play for a long, long time. Won't make the best LP in the whole world, but for you guys who are looking for something a little bit different, you know what I'm saying. I think that this has definitely got some uh, some potential. And they update the game quite a bit. I've noticed that there's been, uh, I, I checked this out maybe a month or so ago, 
and uh, I noticed that there's already been some pretty good improvements. Uh, <laughs> long, embarrassing story short, <laughs> Joe Van White is constipated. Should we help? Don't mess with nature. Intestinal waste load increasing. Not good. Joe Van White got sick. That's Mother Nature. Uh oh. Okay, so now we're here. We can go and we can sell what we've got. We made a tidy profit of 215 bucks. So not like a whole ton of money. Like you could definitely tell like if you were selling robots or something, you could make some serious cash off of that. Um, they export robots so we could buy, you know, as many robots as we could afford, which we have, yeah. So we could do something like that. Go find a place that would, uh, that would take robots and make a tidy profit on it. So this is really cool. Go to the old job board. She's a pastafari. <laughs> Her skills, doing science, cooking, cleaning. Okay, you're hired. And what did I need? A repair guy. Oh, you're quite the, you're so expensive, but you're a medic too. So I hire, I can't hire you because I don't have the money because I spent all my money on robots. <laughs> but you can use the scout and you can just say, uh, we need a guy with a repairing, post the job offer. And there's a dude, we hire him and we're good to go. So then when we go back to the old ship, uh, we can go to open the node and you can click on these guys and set up their repair time. So you can put them in uh, like shifts where they're not all sleeping at the same time and whatnot. That is it for this little hermit's look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Really is uh, quite a fun game. I enjoyed it quite a bit when I was when I checked it out at Gamescom. So it's available on Steam Early Access. And until next time, take care. Brush your hair. I'll see you when I see you. Peace.